about the news about this man when they call Reverend Obaka when they do this this Catholic whatever we say in a pastor in a priest. I never see where pastor priest because a priest will come out when they talk about politics. I never see where pastor for be partisan. I can begin to dwell into politics. A lot do happen for this country right now. Won't be say everybody supposed to be careful of the things when they do. But right now, they say in commands can they call Obi, Peter Obi, when they contest for presidential election, election for Labour Party. Say the man is a stingy man. The man has stingy man. Say he not go win the election. Uh, uh, years ago, when they do presidential election for this country, when we say it will be now running mate to uh, this man, we come out for PDP right now. Say we say in the gun for presidential election. When we, we, we say in name na article, per Baka, come call this man. Come out, we say our one, our two time governor for Anambra State. This is our BC making donate for church of which the man tell and say in of just the donates. They use me like that. Say, may you tell me project in the church. In go actually supports more. In go supports half me supports half. But back I say like that. Say make me talk money. You know, say actually even even make me surprised pass. There's one thing he did. He said that um say this adoration church. Say this one that he utter revel back utter. Say make take make me talk. What did that one mean? Be say. I say utter, say it make it, it, it make us understand. Say those people, those people when the all those uh, congregations say they be followers. Say nine get them. I say nine you utter. Imagine, he forget say hey now people nine send them go there. Say now board and send them go there. Just like the way they don't they don't sanction it right now. They don't will suspend them. Eh? He forget now people nine send them go there. So you see, eh, if Make as it is day for he utter now revel back up utter make he pledge with him and pledge. Imagine you see say the money of those pastors they talk. I go leave you with one video when be say uh, arise arise news. They talk about revel back up. Oh yeah, make it what call those people they need true, they actually know history well. Oh yeah, make on a show this revel back up story. Uh, when uh, the uh, bishop tried to uh, discipline him, he alleged that he had been abducted. We hope that uh, he will minimize uh, uh, his uh, penchant for drama, uh, which uh, is, uh, has become a habit. The second point, of course, is that uh, Peter V has received a lot of support from so many commentators, even beginning with uh, uh, Mrs. Ojuku, Bianca, Mrs. Bianca Ojuku, who pointed out from a personal experience that uh, uh, you know she likes his kind of person, as different from. Uh, 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 Father Mbaka, who says he's a stingy man, that uh, a stingy man cannot be president of Nigeria, and that Peter Obi should come and kneel at the adoration altar. He doesn't need to go to the adoration altar to go and kneel. The people he meets are the electorate. The people who are solidly uh, behind them. There is a group that has emerged now of uh, obedient Nigerians, and that is spelled O B I hyphen. <laughs> D I E I T. So they say they are obedient. Yes. You know, oh, wow. and uh, I even read an article uh, where a, a columnist says that Nigeria now is facing in parts of the country what is called obsession. In other words, that people are obsessed with Peter Obi. And you find the majority of these people, you know, carrying placards uh, on uh, uh, social media defending him. Uh, one man has resigned from his uh, lecturership position to go and support. Uh, Peter Obi. One lady has left uh, a job also to support Peter Obi. I hear some women are contemplating leaving their husbands <laughs> to go and, uh, and pay for uh, Peter Obi. I don't know how that will work out. Know you you know, but there is a transfer of support for him, uh, different from uh, 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 Father Ejik Mbaka, you know, uh, soliciting, you know, from the pulpit because it looks like soliciting. <laughs> You know, in 2018, 2019, he had done a similar thing to Peter Obi. And Peter Obi was saying, okay, show me a church project and I will support. And he was carrying the microphone. He wanted him to donate money. So his, uh, his adoration ministry, a, a money collection uh, ministry, <laughs> or, you know, a place where he's supposed to preach uh, to both the Gentiles and the, and the congregation. 
That is why it needs to be called to order. They have done. Mm. So since you have mentioned uh, Bianca, Dr. Avati, in another development, Bianca Ojuku, a former ambassador and widow of Chukwemeka Ojuku, the late Biafran leader, reacted to Father Iji Kengbaka's comment where he referred to Peter Obi as a stingy man. In a post on her Facebook page on Thursday, Obianka, while narrating the encounter, said his prudence with the resources is something that Nigeria needs for a more humane society. According to her, when Peter Obi paid herself and her late husband a visit in Texas to attend a black tie event at the Dallas Marriott, he gave up the opportunity to buy a $3,800 Tom Ford suit for the event, but rather gave her the money to donate to her charity. How amazing is that? Tindra Viola. I thought that was such a... <laughs> when I don't see this story right now, when I don't see this man talk about this urban Nubaka, the man don't get shame for body at all. He never get shame. Now, now, uh, the man don't actually come out. If he actually mean what he talks, say, uh, in dumb, beg. Uh, in the, in the beg, in the say sorry, say... But uh, as a pastor, or as a reverend, or as a priest, you have to get out for upstairs there. Make nobody deceive you. As I hear right now, and make you de use your head. That is, use your head. But make I live now for same arise news. All those kids, this lady, when they speak English, shush, 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 make I leave you, make you hear what he talk about Reverend Baka. He talk about some way they far, 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 far. All those people when they America, the way they sit today, the good at this thing. They, they know they give chichi. Yeah, you go give the country money out you say they, they, they do generous what type of generous is that make you listen to this video when this guy talk right now this one of these arise news the most renowned u.s president john f kennedy was notoriously stingy now he was stingy and he was a trust fund baby he had 170 million dollars in the bank and used to go through the white house grocery bill and argue about it but the same jfk also donated his presidential salary to charity so these people actually have their priorities and they think they feel that there's enough for everybody's need but not for everybody yeah. Yeah. Now, now tell me, eh, how person go to better pass the way he be right now? Person will be trusted and tested two time governor for Anabra State. Tell me how they want me to do again. All you just want, they want you, they want to chop money up and they chop money up and down. As a, as a reverend, are you supposed to talk out? It's better for you not to talk than for you to talk, blah, blah, blah. I will leave it on that video again for what arise news. A reporter, he made this one. You go see how he talk right now because right now, all this man, this man speaking. Oh, yeah, make you hear, make you see him. He not they give she she. <laughs> Obi not they give she she. And he will not give. Why should we have a society where men of God act in this way? We can't call them out. This man, goodness me, should we go through his retinue of false prophecies? This was the same man that was predicting or what not. This was the same man that endorsed President Muhammad Buhari. He did. This was the same man that said, oh, the eagle, the bird has flown away from the administration of good luck, Jonathan. This was the same man that did all sorts, that caused a fight in his parish between his supporters and the church authority. I have said it before, men of God have no business with dabbling into politics in such a way that they now start to prophesy and force people now because they don't give them money. This is just very bad. And it smacks of hypocrisy. It's people like this that try to bring down the, name, the house of God. As a man of God, you are in a lane where people respect you. Why don't you just stay there? But because you want money all for yourself, you want to grab. And what are you going to use the money for? For your own personal, selfish means. I saw a picture of this same Peter Obi giving 100 million naira to a church. Like Tundu said, he has priority for his money. He has no right to give you money. He mustn't give you money as a man of God. Yeah. Who, who do you think you are? Because you're a man of God, you can come here and sit and see all sorts to people because they don't give you money. If he needs money so much, can't he go and walk? 
<laughs> he should go and walk. No, you see, this thing is sad because I think we have got to a point in society where we should say enough of all of this by so-called men of God. They should not use God to come and baboozle us. God is not this way. God is pure. God is kind. God is good. Because what you are doing is you are putting God in the bad light. And this is heretic. This is against the gospel of Christ and freedom. This is against Christ dying on the cross of Calvary. It's an aberration to the body of Christ. And it's not about the diocese just reacting and saying we are not. They must take a tough first start. This is what my point Once is. And for why all. can't they just take a start? The last time he went to fast for 30 days, he said he had repented. Obviously, he's not, he's not repented. He's not. I am sorry to say that I'm not in a position to judge. And God, please forgive me for judging. But with this act, it is shown that he will do it over and over again. But you are stating facts. You're I'm stating sorry facts. if I judged him. No. But with this, it doesn't show any form of repentance. And you see, this makes people make mockery of Christianity and men of God. And that's why you see they are laughing. It's because of Father Mbaka, they are laughing at men of God in this country. Which is sad. I didn't even talk about... Did, uh, uh, wait, did you...